Hi, my name is Travis. I am recording a video to show you how to use Google Maps and a few other programs. I'm doing this as my mother is about to go overseas and I'd like to know more about how to use Google Maps. I am using iOS 4, the latest version to come out. Hopefully what I'm about to show you should work for iOS 3 too. So this is what my my cell phone looks like. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. I have my maps program in the navigation folder. Now the icon which you would like to, you want to use is the maps icon. So I'll go ahead and launch maps. Alright, so what you're seeing right now is my current location and the blue dot is, well, the blue dot is my current location. The blue circle that you saw around the blue dot, which has now disappeared, is an indication of the error in the GPS. When I first turned on Google Maps, my cell phone was only getting its location data from wireless. By I have inputted into a website called Skyhook where my my wireless hub is, and it's using that to give my iPhone the longitude and latitude about where it is. After sitting here for a few seconds, it's also connected to satellites, which now which also tell it where it is. If you're doing Wi-Fi only, like an iPod Touch, you're only going to be able to do this. Well, when you're connected to or near an open Wi-Fi hub. Closed Wi-Fi hubs will determine your location but you must be connected to an open Wi-Fi hub in order for your location to be sent back to you. So the basics of using Google Maps. If you want to zoom out you just simply pinch and wait for it to load. So you can see that I am in Ashland. Here's Swambigan Bay, Northern Wisconsin. To zoom in, you just pinch in, nice and simple. Another way to zoom in is to double tap where you want to zoom in. Now if you want to look around, you can slide to left, slide to right, up and down. Nice and simple. There's a little icon down here in the lower left corner. On the older versions, or older phone versions, you'll see a circle with four lines around it. What this does is it turns on the GPS location or locator and it will center the map on your current location. So let's say I move my position off the map. Hi, Odena. I'm going to click the button and that magically moves me to wherever I'm at. As long as this button is highlighted, no matter where I move, physically, no matter, wherever, no matter where I move, the map will constantly update itself as long as it can determine my location. When you're using GPS, that can be constantly. If you're using Wi-Fi, that's going to be as you detect and lose certain hubs. The moment I move away, that little arrow turns off. That means that's no longer going to follow you. So I'm going to go back to where I am, and turn that off again. Now I'm going to zoom way out. One thing you can also do on Google Maps, or on Maps on the iPhone, is to create locations. Let's go to, let's go to Eau Claire. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Actually, I have a friend in Chippewa Falls, so let's find directions to Chippewa Falls. Alright, Chippewa Falls map has loaded up. So I'm going to do, let's press and hold, and it's dropped a pin. And it gives you the location, the street address of where you've dropped that pin at. If I click on the little arrow, 
There we go. You can say your directions to here, directions from here. You can add it to a contact that you have in your address book. You can email the location to someone else. Or you can add to bookmarks. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's just call it Falls. We'll save it. We'll go back to the map. Now I mentioned that one of the things that popped up was you can say to go to or go from here. So I'm going to click on this little button. I'm going to say directions to here. Now this directions window has popped up. I'm going to show you another way how to get there first before I actually do some location stuff. Another way, originally we were here under search. If I click on directions, it pops back up again. Now up here at the start, it currently says my current location. That means that when I ask it to find directions, it's going to figure out how to get from wherever I'm at based on my GPS coordinates to the end location. I'm going to go ahead and close that and pull up this little window. Okay, here's the bookmarks. I have one for where I'm at right now, but I also created one for false, which we just did. You can also do recent locations that you've navigated to or from. It's all the areas that I've gone, as well as view your contacts. If you go back to bookmarks, I have we can choose current locations. So we have our current location, so we can select that again. We have Ashland, Wisconsin, where I'm at. We have false, triple wall false. I can go to edit, so that way I can remove items if I need to. Little icons over here on the right side allow you to reorganize the list. Otherwise, it's going to be whichever one was most recently created is going to be at the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to travel from Ashland, Wisconsin. And because I already said earlier directions to Chippewa Falls, that's what's located down here. And they even figured out um, zip code for me. So I'm going to click on route. 